Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is Brother West, Prophet West, and um, I want to prophesy to you. I want to prophesy to you, and what I want to do, I want to prophesy to in the place you are. See, you're in a place, and in this place that you're in, it's a place. It's not a place that you think it is. See, see, many of you, you're alone. You're facing being alone. You're by yourself. It it appears as though things have ran away from you. It seems like things that once worked before, they don't work no more. They don't work no more. And you're at a place where you feel like you feel like you're helpless. You feel like you all alone and you're trying to keep your mind. You're trying to keep your wits. But it almost feels like you're about to go crazy from being alone. But in this place where you're being alone. God wants you to calm down and calm your nerves. See, because your nerves can distract you from this place. See, because this place, this place of discomfort, this place of being alone, is a place where you encounter something that you never encountered before, and it will transition you to a place of power. See, the purpose of this place where you are and what you're facing and being alone, God has given you a greater power. The Bible says in Psalms 91, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Now, that word 91 and 1, Psalms 91 and 1, it's a militant or military term used in a time of war, which means that the one, the number one man in charge, he is instructed by the king to come into his chamber, his, his secret chamber. And in his chamber, the king will reveal to that man, that person, his strategy and his plan of attack. See, hear me. See, God has instructions for you in this lonely place or this place of being alone. God has instructions. God has direction. But also God has wisdom. See, in this place right here, God is doing many things. And in these things that God is doing in you, he's taking you and he's transforming you. And so the thing about it, when you come out of the place where you feel alone, you're going to elevate. There's an elevation that God is calling you to. And so the reason why God had to take you and put you into this place, there were certain tools, there were certain wisdom, there were certain things that had to be shooken off of you. And there are certain things had to be developed in you. Wakes, weaknesses, fear, doubt, and your past, the mindset of your past, it had to be washed out. So God used this time of being alone to shake it off, to shake off the rhetoric, to shake off the familiar spirits, the familiar thoughts, the familiar ways, the familiar things that you've seen in the past. See, God was emptying out that picture in your mind that it can fill you up with his picture. That picture is called faith. And in the faith that God is putting in you and putting in you greater and greater and greater, it is going to express and it's going to reveal out of you God's plan and purpose concerning your direction when you begin to open up your mouth your mouth will be different when you begin to uh, uh declare and speak god is going to give you a testament it's like saying the same thing over and over again but every time you say it there's a layer there's a depth there's a depth there's an understanding and in that understanding it, it comes from your encounter it comes from your pain see in your encounter your pain what it's doing you, god is teaching you he's putting you in his bible he's putting you in the word that his word might become lively the Bible said the law of the love kill, killeth, but the spirit maketh alive. And what God is doing, God is quickening you in your dead places. The Bible says strengthen those things that remain that are ready to die. God is quickening the, those dead places. God is quickening you. God is shocking you. See, some of you have flatlined and God is shocking you back to life. Sin, hurt, doubt, disbelief. It's put you in a stupor, a spiritual stupor and what god is doing god is taking away the antidote from the tranquilizer that the thing that you've encountered has loathed you to sleep see witness well, seeing uh doubt disbelief has loathed you to sleep wherein you cannot hear god because you're asleep see but what god is doing god is releasing a sound and in this sound it's going to cause you to wake up you're going to wake up your eyes are going to come open your eyes it's called an epiphany it's called revelation knowledge. God is going to reveal to you through your suffering and through the place where you are, his power. God is going to release to you his miracles. His miracles is being birthed. 
it's being it's been trickled from your life that's why god wants you to slow down and relax don't let emotions don't let the past don't let nothing speak to you but god it's very important now because god wants to give you an intricate instructions about how to move but also what god wants to do while you're being still god wants you to be still he's giving you in intricate intricate instructions in your spirit how to be healed how to be delivered how to be set free heal me and heal me well and some in this particular place this lone alone place god is generating and god is causing your fire to become even greater in the beginning it started as a small light and then it grew to a fire and now what god is bringing and he's birthing and he's developing and he's causing to release out of you it's going to be like a flame god has put a flame of fire in your voice in your mouth and that flame is his word and that flame is the pressure that you've been been under that flame is the testimony that god can heal that god can set free that god can bring out and bring through see god is giving you a testimony an intimate testimony with him where you know with that you know that you know that he can do it you know that you know that you know he can bring you out and you know that you know that he can make a way out of no way that encounter that experience that in testimony god is proven god has proven himself in you that gift that seed that he put in you he's causing it to develop he's causing it to bear fruit it's time for your fruit to come and to go into operation god is making a demand upon your gift hear me